Hi Goggle, what are you doing? I am reading about biological viruses. I have a science test tomorrow on microbes. Did you know that viruses are types of microbes? Yes Goggle, I know. Toggle, I have just finished the section on different types of biological viruses. Now I was wondering, how many types of computer viruses there are? Well Goggle, there are many types of computer viruses. One way to classify them is based on their infection targets. Based on the infection targets, a computer virus can be a program virus, a boot virus or a macro virus. Tell me a little about each of them. Sure Goggle. Viruses that infect program files are called program viruses. Which files are program files, Toggle? Program files are the widely used files with extensions such as .com and .exe. The program virus becomes active when the infected file is run. Ok, I have seen some files with those extensions. Can you give me some examples of program viruses? Sure. Acid Rain, Alien.298, Umbrella.3173 and Cascade are all program viruses. <laughs> all dangerous programs. But what funny names! Boot viruses infect the boot records of hard disks and floppy disks. Generally, boot viruses are considered more dangerous than program viruses. Are there any examples? Sure. Danish Boot, Devil.941, Disk Killer, Michelangelo are all examples of boot viruses. <laughs> Weird names again. Now for the macro viruses. Macro? Um, are you sure you don't mean micro? <laughs> no goggle. A macro is a set of commands written by the user to be executed later. Suppose you execute a set of commands in MS Excel or MS Word, then you can save that set of commands as a macro. I guess a macro will save the time used in typing the same commands again and again. Absolutely right, Goggle. Now a macro virus uses the macro language for its program. These viruses infect data files such as MS Word and MS Excel files. Macro viruses spread rapidly as users share infected documents. Any example of macro viruses? Melissa, Concept and Nuclear are examples of macroviruses. But Toggle, I remember Vaka saying something like, um, what was the word? Uh, malware. Yes, malware. Do you know what that is? Yes, Goggle. Malware is short for malicious software. Malware could be any program that enters and harms a computer without the user's consent. So, a malware is also a computer virus. Actually, malware is a general term for computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses, spyware and spam. But of these I know only about viruses. What are the other types of malware? Well, let's start with a worm. A computer worm is a program that reproduces and spreads to another computer system, usually by means of a computer network. But how is a worm different from a virus toggle? Worms are different from viruses as they spread without any human action. A virus spreads only when an infected program is run on a computer. Then how do these worms spread themselves? Using emails, Goggle. Emails? Yes, Goggle. A worm first emails copies of itself to other computers and infects them. It then uses the address book of the infected computer to spread further. So are worms as destructive as viruses? Computer worms usually do not cause direct damage to programs and files. However, they consume large amounts of memory and use up network bandwidth. Oh, this way they would make it almost impossible for the user to work. Right, Goggle. Are there any computer worms that you know of? Examples of identified computer worms are Code Red, Circam and I Love You. <laughs> okay. The next type of, type of malware is a Trojan horse. Yes, I read about that in a storybook. It was used in an ancient war in Greece. <laughs> no goggle. This Trojan horse is a computer program but it functions the same way as the Trojan horse did in the story. Oh!
Yes, Goggle, a Trojan horse is a program that appears useful, but it actually intends to pass the user's data to someone else. A Trojan horse attempts to steal and pass on confidential information like passwords and credit card numbers. Oh, it means people are fooled into believing that the malware is useful when in fact they are dangerous. Exactly, Goggle. A Trojan horse enters a computer system because the user installs it, thinking that it is a useful, harmless program. Does a Trojan horse make copies of itself? No, Goggle. Trojan horses do not reproduce by infecting other files or replicating itself like viruses and worms do. Then how does it function? When a Trojan horse is activated, it replaces existing desktop icons or creates new ones. It may also delete important system files from your computer. Can you name some Trojan horses? Some examples are Netbus, Sub7, Beast and Zeus. Now Goggle, let me tell you about spyware. Spyware? Are these some kinds of secret agents? <laughs> In a way, yes. Spyware are computer programs that secretly gather information about the user and then send it to advertisers or other interested parties. They are also called spy bots or tracking software. So how does a spyware get installed into a system? Spyware is often installed without your permission when you download something from the internet or when you click on something in a pop-up window that appears while browsing the web pages. What harm can spyware do to a computer toggle? Spyware can consume a lot of memory, making your computer too slow to work with. Also, it can steal your information and misuse your computer. That's really serious! Yet another malware is spam. Yes, Toggle, once I saw my sister deleting a lot of mails. She did not even read them. She told me they were spam mails. What exactly is spam? Yes, I was just coming to it. Spam means unsolicited, unwanted email. But what harm can emails do even if they are unsolicited? A spam may carry advertisements or serve as a means of spreading malware like viruses and worms. Okay, but how can I avoid spam affecting my computer toggle? To avoid spam, you should A. Never give your email address to unknown people B. Always use the spam filter of your email program to block unwanted emails C. And never read spam mails. Delete them as soon as you receive any. Wow! Cyberspace seems to be a dangerous place! <laughs> yes, Goggle, it is an exciting but at times a dangerous place as well. A little caution, however, can keep the dangers away. Thank you. I have learned so much from you today. Welcome. Bye for now. And be sure to follow the tips I gave you.